What is up, bros? Be Josh here. And today's video is all about a topic that has kind of re-risen its head, and it kind of does every time there is a way to earn it, and that is the topic of steel in World of Warships. So, if you guys don't know what steel is, it's a way to purchase ships in this game. It's one of the new resources, and the latest ship that you could purchase with steel was the Borgonia, but the first one that was really ever available was the Stalingrad, which is right here. Um, and there's basically only a few ways of earning it. Now, the main way to earning steel, which was kind of how this whole steel resource was developed, was through clan battles. I'll giving clan battles used to give the Stalingrad flags. They converted that over to a new resource of steel, and then there's an extra little resource that won't really matter. But um, the main reason, is, or the main way to earn the actual steel is through clan battles. Through, so if you are playing enough throughout each season, you can earn up to 11,000 steel. They've since changed kind of how you've earned steel, which I actually quite enjoy. Um, it used to be very much a, a back-ended, so you got all of your, ten, back in the day, it was you earned 10,000 steel in a season, but you had to achieve 60 wins in uh, the Typhoon season, which is at the at the time the hardest. They've been, since added the Hurricane League, um, which can get you a, a thousand more, so 11,000. So, But instead of being uh, such a back-ended reward, it is is now a progressive thing so you can earn steel throughout the all league so even the lowest league in squall which is the starting league you can earn up 500 for getting a certain amount of wins and the best part about clan battles is it's all backwards compatible so like a win in um, hurricane will be a win in storm blah 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 so um but still the main way to earn steel is through clan battles it, it always has been and it kind of always will be so the second way you can really earn steel on a regular basis is through rank battles. This used to be purely only Jolly Roger flags. They've since added steel into that. So you can now get steel um, all the way through. It's gradual. So the farther along you go, the rewards of steel are bigger and bigger. And then, of course, getting the 1,000 steel at the end um, with up to 5,500 total if you go throughout the entire season and getting the rank one, of course. So um, clan battle and rank battles. Rank battles obviously being, I would consider it an easier mode. It's a single queue. You only need to worry about yourself. You don't need to worry about six other people. And it's around the clock, so as long as there are games going. So I would label this a bit easier to play because it's just more accessible to most people, um, but still giving you a sizable amount of steel. A third way of getting steel is praying to the RNG gods, which will give you a super container. Super containers can also be found, or steel can also be found in super containers. A very low chance. We all know the loot table is pretty dang big when it comes to um, super containers, and we all know that we basically only get flags anyway, so it's a kind of a super container. But if you get lucky enough, I did myself um, for when you could get a, a crate for each tier 10 you had. I opened one and actually got one of the 1500 steels, um, which is amazing. So that is a little bit, but again, as you're seeing this kind of trend, clan battles are going to be the most, rank battles are going to be um, the second most, and then the rare, rare, rare super container of adding uh, 1500 is also there, not quite the uh, reliable option, I would say. And then if we get back to uh, our port and we look at the clans, with the new buildings, they actually added uh, buildings that will give you a bonus to clan battle. So if we click over to our buildings really quick, there actually is a new way to get steel. Um, actually, in cold, these are the two latest ones. So if your clan is playing enough, you can actually get a bonus of up to 10% of steel. So it starts up with 5%, uh, you add a 2%, and then you can add 3%, can all the way up to 10% steel. So on top of all of that, you can get all of these ways of getting steel, and um, and then on top of the bonuses. So with this steel, you'd bounce right over to the arsenal and you'd go to click on ships where there would be actual ships only available for this new resource. So um, they have since changed the flint in the USS Black to being steel ships. The Stalingrad, which was the first big steel ship, is there. And now the Borgonia is steel ships. So why am I kind of talking about this? And I think it's an overall kind of problem that World of Warships has is that these ships are very, very exclusive. And what are they held behind? They're, be held, they're held behind this massive, massive steel wall. For a lot of the players, I would say the vast majority of players don't even play clan battles. So the main way of getting steel isn't available to them. And um, the second main one, rank battles. People just don't have time to play rank battles. It's the same thing with clan battles. And then, of course, we all aren't lucky enough to win the lottery and get that stalling or get that uh, super container with steel in it. So, really, for most people, steel is very, very hard to come by. And then we run into the problem of World of Warships making um, 
basically these exclusive ships, all of which are extremely good. The Flint being a fantastic tier seven, the USS Black uh, being uh, at, at the time when it was released, the only tier eight destroyer with radar um, and the Stalingrad, of course, being the beast and the Burgundy being extremely fun and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You, Wargaming has made this basically this, this monster of having these fantastic, fun, um, strong ships be behind this literal steel wall that so many people can't get their hands on. I would say that a, a fraction of a percent of the player base will ever be able to have enough steel, even with all the bonus rewards, all that kind of stuff, to ever get these just because they don't play one of the couple of modes. So again, you might ask, why would I bring this up? The main reason I bring this up is because World of Warships is going out and making a new quote unquote purchasable campaign to get steel now disclaimer we do not know a few things about this now there has been some data mined information of a proposed amount of steel that you will get from this but we don't know exact numbers i never go with data mine stuff i never go with rumors i never go with like that so i'm going to wait and most of you should probably should too wait until wargaming actually announces this stuff to actually go off of it but they have said there will be a purchasable campaign that you can buy in the premium store that will give you extra signals coal and steel so they are actually basically selling steel into this game and this is where it kind of brings an interesting topic that i really kind of just want to discuss in this video and get your guys's feedback going forward with this problem is does this game actually have a steel problem they're saying that they have listened to the player base and are going to give and i have heard quote a one-time thing now if they listen to the player base and the player base wants more steel and they're giving into it once why won't they give into it multiple times? Who knows? But we do know that this is the one-time thing. So first of all, we don't know the price of this campaign. Two, we don't know how hard this campaign will be. Three, we don't, you know, there's a lot of variables we just don't know. We just know that they will sell a campaign that is going to award steel. But again, do we actually have a steel problem in this game? Now, most of you think it will be. Yes, yes, we have a steel problem. I can't get these ships because I don't have steel. And then somebody will say, we'll just play the game modes. I'm not going to be that cynical about this kind of stuff. Yeah, just the reason that you don't get it is because you don't play these game modes. That doesn't seem fair. There's a whole variety of this. I have never been a fan of how the reward ships work. I wish I wish that the uh, players that would play these clan battles and rank battles, I'm one of them, would get something that is the same but different. This is where I think World of Warships missed a big, big time to kind of do an, an awesome thing of, cosmetics that's what we should have gotten you can even see that with the stalingrad having a cosmetic uh camouflage if you want enough clan battle seasons that's something to have a bragging rights but now you know long story short war game has basically made a billion camouflages so it's kind of like you know blah 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 it's all been lost in time but i've never been a fan personally and this is somebody who does go out and get these rewards every season of getting something that most people can't get so we jump back to the arsenal in, in the port, and this is where I bring up an idea. Now, we have two kinds of resources. Now, we're not going to talk about copper. We're not going to talk about uh, the moldy Benadryl or whatever. This is the rank battle extra reward resource, and this is the clan battle one. That's something that's adding extra to it, and that's something that I will tag on just at the end. I'm talking about steel, and I'm talking about coal. Now, we get ships that are available for steel, and we get ships that are available for coal. Steel being this rare, um, precious thing that only a, a percent of a percent of players will ever have ability to, to have enough to get a ship. And then we have coal, which is something that everyone can get every day. This is something you can get from containers. This is something you can get from super containers, from missions, from uh, campaign missions. This is something that's pretty readily available that they have made into a currency that I think they want to. You know, they're getting a lot of ships away from free XP and moving them to basically a coal thing. And of course, this is something else you can get a bonus in your clan battles um, that it will give you a bonus, blah, blah, blah. But again, this is something that's much more available. And this is my idea going forward. I don't think we have a steel problem. I think we have an exclusive ship problem. These ships are exclusive for a minute percent of the player base. And that is the problem. So what's Wargaming trying to do? Well, these people can't get these ships because they don't have this resource. Let's just give them this resource and then go forward. That has its ups and downs. So if we bump back out to the player base or the, uh, the port, the thing is, that's the reason to play these modes. Now, clan battles and ranked battles 
you play those to get the rewards. If you devalue those rewards, there's no reason to play those modes. There's no reason to go out of your way, mess everybody's schedules up, and then get enough people to play enough games to get enough wins, to get enough leagues, to get enough of, you know, everything to get this steal. It's just a giant pain in the ass. It really is. Now, a lot of the, the, the top competitive clans are going to do this anyway because they have nothing else to do. Rank battles, again, people only do these for the rewards, and that's the big enticement is, hey, if you do this, then you get the steal. You add in this new campaign, a lot of people, are, I think, are, in my opinion, are going to say, there's not really a reason to play these clan battles anymore. All I want to do is get the flint. All I want to do is is do this, do that, do this. And so if you take out the deva and you devalue steal, I feel like that's really, really bad for these extra game modes, which I think World of Warships is in a dire need of extra claim, uh, extra game modes, which they're working on with arms race and rank sprint, stuff like that. But my whole thing is they can't just take this and basically devalue all the work of this extra stuff. So here comes my fix. It took me this long to get to it. I would love, and I would love to hear you guys' feedback on this, is what if the ships weren't steel gated but time gated and what i mean by that is that at first these ships are only available for steel so that is still adds an enticement for people to continue to play those competitive game modes and game modes and entices people to actually get there then one year 12 months one year one calendar year after they are available for steel they become available for coal so at first you do have this want and need to go out and play clan battles with your clan Go out and play ranked battles when you have it. Get, add up that steel and get that. But after an amount of time, they become available to everyone. I don't think we have a steel problem. I think we have an exclusive ship problem because they continue to be held behind this massive wall. Ask anybody that has these ships. I, I don't feel like they're gonna they, they're gonna say no. I only deserve this ship. I agree that people that play these modes deserve to get rewarded, and if they continue to do that, they can get these ships as well the one thing that's going to add though is it's going to give the player base a choice now do they want to get the Borgonia or do they want to get the Salem adding all these extra ships down the road as coal a normal person only getting ships through coal isn't going to be able to get every ship so at least it gives them the choice now do I think a, a normal person should get all the rewards as, as a normal player should get all the rewards as somebody playing in all the competitive modes? No, but I feel like the person that is playing um, just like kind of every day adding up their coal should have the chance to get the Borgonia, should have the chance to get the Stalingrad, but they need to may at least have the choice of getting that. Right now, the normal player will never be able to get the Stalingrad, will never be able to get the Borgonia, the USS Black, and really not even get the Flint. Um, but they, you know, they would get the Salem. So this is more of a conversation piece. And this is something I've brought up in multiple situations on the CC discord. And it seems to be getting a lot of pop, uh, a lot of good responses. Um, it, it just seems to me that there's a lot of kind of fixes going out to how do we fix steel? I don't think, and I've said this multiple times throughout the video. I don't think steel is our problem. I think the exclusivity that World of Warships has created is our problem, and I think this is a pretty easy fix. Um, you know, there's been a lot of different ideas going on, but I think this is just the easiest way to kind of work this. You know, somebody that has coal saying, hey, I have enough to buy the Salem or the Musashi or the Jean Bart right now, but man, I really, really want that Stalingrad, and it's going to be available it's been available for whatever, eight months, six months, whatever it's been. It's going to be available in a few more months. I think I'm just going to save up for that when it becomes available. That's awesome. Will they have enough time to get the Musashi? No, because they're removing that in a couple patches. But they could get the Stalingrad, and they've made that decision. But, the, I mean, somebody like me that has the Stalingrad, I don't care if, if, if a player wants to save up and get the Stalingrad, by all means. So... Therein lies kind of the option. You're giving the player base the option to save, but you're letting them know that it's going to be available in an achievable resource at a, at a certain time. Um, one, it would still give uh, credit to the people playing all the all the quote unquote try hard modes because it allows them to basically get all the ships that they that they want. You know, the only way to afford the Stalingrad and the Borgonia and the Flint and the USS Black. And, and then on top of that, all the coal ships is by getting steel. So it still adds this kind of wall, if you will, if you want to use that. 
but it at least lets the normal player that doesn't play these modes at least have the ability to earn this. But anyways, guys, this is kind of, I know, maybe wordy, maybe I repeated myself a lot. This is something that has been coming up a lot. I've been talking to my stream a lot, and I, I want to get your guys' feedback on this. Let me know if I'm just straight up wrong. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys would like to hear something else. I feel like just selling campaigns um, to get this deal doesn't really kind of doesn't really solve the problem i just think it's a way to kind of like all right well hey at least they're monetizing it. i mean i don't know um but also one thing that is kind of cool too is uh this is where i think where gaming is doing it right too is selling the stalingrad and then getting uh these extra kind of consumables or the extra things this is where i think it would work out perfectly is copper and uh I always call it multi Benadryl. I can't. I can never pronounce that. But um, when you go to this, it uh, it actually has premium. So this is something you can get for the Flint and the USS Black, and the Stalingrad has one as well. Um, if you check it out right here, so this is where that kind of exclusive cosmetic. You know, this is something that a person playing clan battles can go out and earn and have some kind of bragging rights. Um, but it's still the same Stalingrad. Nothing has changed. So it's uh, this is what I think a perfect reason to go the same but different cosmetically different and who cares if it even gives a little bit extra bonuses um somebody went out there but again even on these uh you have like the crocodile one and the uh i think i think it, oops clicked on the wrong one um the uh, uh the mustang as well so these are giving those bonuses to people who are going out but it at least gives the entire player base a chance to get these ships so anyways guys I just want to make this quick video going over steel. It's a pretty big topic right now. Lots of people going on in the forums. Lots of people talking in streams about it. So I want to hear you guys' feedback on my idea um, about allowing basically down the road, allowing steel ships to be purchased by coal but have it be time-based and um, at least allowing it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Let, again, let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, about this topic, and I would love to hear some feedback. And then, of course... Uh, we, we can continue to make uh, this kind of a good conversation going off. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.